Hi everyone. Um, I hope that everyone is safe at home. Um, so I thought of uh, making a video. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure uh, that it will be useful for most of us uh, because now we are home. There's a complete lockdown, and uh, the issue is, you know, that we might be trying to connect our old mobiles or computers and we don't know our Wi-Fi password. So it's easy to connect the cable and reset your Wi-Fi wi password. But then I thought, why not? you know, uh, use the inbuilt functionality in your window uh, that gives you the option to find out your old password. So I know that you already have these kind of videos available on YouTube and probably on uh, if you just just search Google, you know, uh, for uh, resetting your password, you will get a lot of details there. But it's a long string to remember. So I thought why not show you the logic of, you know, remembering it easy, uh, probably you will not even have to remember it, you will just have to remember one command that's called net sh. So you have to start by typing net sh and then there is always an option you can get the help of this command by typing forward slash and question mark. So I will only start with net sh and we will see that how we are actually able to type the complete uh, command that, the, that we need to view the password in clear text. If you type net sh uh, forward slash and question mark you will get several options there. But if you look at it, we are trying to find out the password of a LAN, that, that's the wireless network. So LAN would be the correct option here. And I would suggest that you can keep on experimenting. You can keep on exploring the other options as well. And you will get a lot of useful uh, options there. Uh, so now uh, you're getting several other options within LAN. So uh, we are trying to get some information. Uh, so it's pretty evident that we're going to use show option here. So now if you see, you have several options uh, that you can use to get the information. Uh, for example, you know, this will give you all the information about the wireless devices and network information in your system. Uh, but what we are looking at is, we are looking at finding the uh, details about the profiles that are configured in a system. So let me choose profiles and then again forward slash question mark enter. Uh, now if you see the remark, uh, the comments that's been mentioned here. So all of this is documented by MSDN. Uh, it's for your help. And if you see, it tells you the usage of this command. So I'll follow the same that is mentioned. I will just use name and the, my wireless name that is the SSID. And then if I click enter, you will get all these details about your wireless network, but we still don't have the password. So for password, if you go back, there is an option for key clear. Okay, so let us let us use this option. And there it is. So there it is, you will get your password here. And then this password, you can use it in your other mobile devices and laptop. So uh, my suggestion here would be that you can simply explore this command. And I think you will get so many other cool options uh, that's actually helpful for you and people who are actually looking into, you know, windows and uh, threat hunting for them. It would be very uh, nice option and it would be a very nice learning. So uh, a few of these options are already available on internet if you go, but I think you should understand the logic and rationale behind. And I think the the way I learned it was I just get it, got into this command and I tried to understand what option is doing what. So now I don't have to remember it. I just know it by the command that it's net net sh and then you can get into it and you know take the documentation help and complete the command. So uh, it's very easy. If you have any other questions around any of the Windows command, uh, feel free to reach out. I spend most of my time learning new things and options, so I would be really happy to help. Uh, this is a very small thing uh, and uh, 
I mean, it must be something that you already know. But my logic here was to only tell you that it's not important to remember the long string of commands. You should get, try to get into logics as well. So, so yeah, thank you so much. Uh, and please be safe. Be at home.